What is up, Spy Ninjas? I just came through the secret passageway through a wardrobe closet, and it led me to right here. I found a wig, shirt, pants. This is definitely the guy who's trying to impersonate me and be just like me and has a crush on my wife. And not only that, I think that's him right there sitting in this chair. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Excuse me, sir. Hello, Chad. I've been expecting you. You're trying to be like me. You're trying to flirt with my wife. She's mine. She'll never be yours. You, my friend, need to lay off and just find your own girl to talk to. Quit talking to my wife. But your wife is so pretty, Chad. Hey, I've heard enough of this. You better tell me right now that you're gonna leave me and my wife alone and all the rest of the spy ninjas. You're gonna leave us alone. I'll leave you alone, but V, I'll never leave alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I'm not gonna leave you alone either. Ah! What the heck? It's a stuffed hoodie! That wasn't a real person! Hello? Where was that voice coming from? <laughs> Foolish Chad. Foolish? You're the one who's foolish. You got yourself tackled. What do you want with me? You better let me out of here, and you better tell me who you are. Perhaps a more appropriate question is, who are you? Who am I? I am Chad Wild Clay. What do you want, man? I like to learn about people. I study them and learn everything about them. Oh, you think you're so smart? When's my birthday then? March 10th. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah anybody can look that up on the internet. That's the easy question, big deal. Ah, why am I even talking to you anyways? You're just that stupid hacker who's got a crush on my wife. <laughs> Foolish Chad. Wrong again. Whatever, dude. You're trying so hard to be like me, making little heart masks. You're inviting her to an online prom. Don't even pretend. You see what you want to see. All the clues as to who I am have been in front of you the whole time. Why don't you just come into this room and I'll tell you everything you need to know about moi. Hello? Are you gone now? Did you give up? You don't want to be like me anymore? You don't want to study me anymore? He said everything I need to know about him is has, has been right in front of me the whole time. So maybe there's stuff in this room about him. There's a bunch of strange characters on the wall behind me here. Let's take a look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Right here. That's the bone box guy. I'm gonna take this with me. I recognize this guy. Remember, we found this picture after we crawled down the hatch, down that ladder? It was in one of the covers. He was with the leader and with Joseph Banks. But I'm gonna keep investigating because I wanna know more about this weird guy. He's got a big old world map. He's probably sitting here on his chair like, hmm, where do I wanna travel to in the world next? Let's see where he wants to travel to, huh? Whoa, look at this, Spy Ninjas. Project Zergo office. Oh, here's a red line. It's all the way here. Oh my gosh. There's a Project Zorgo office in Mexico City? There's Project Zorgo offices all over the world? I thought there was just the one here in Las Vegas. But they're all over the place. Look here. That's London. This guy is really creeping me out. I'm gonna examine this gear that he's got here. Look at this guy. He's got a wig for blonde hair. The red nunchucks. A CWC shirt. A wristband. Just like my wristband right here. Is this even real CWC merch? <laughs> it is. I can smell it. He's got blue jeans just like I wear. Red shoes. Look, they're even like the same size. Okay, this guy said he's trying to learn more about me. He's been studying me. He's definitely been doing a good job. This is a really close representation of what I wear and what I look like. Should I change my outfit? I wear the same shirt every day. Maybe I should try something new. Spy Ninjas, leave a comment down below if you think I should wear something different. This is just fantastic. I'm trapped in this room. At least there's oxygen in here. But gosh, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of have to use the bathroom. I feel like I'm pretty good at holding it in. But with an emphasis on but, I'm gonna just be careful. Just in case. You know, because accidents do happen. I do have some of these left over. There we go. It's actually quite fashionable. These do look pretty nice and, you know, I'm all set now. in here. Looks like we have a stun baton right here. What are these weird artifacts? The Star of Africa Diamond. Oh, what's this? An Aztec calendar. Can you guys read this? I don't know what day it is or what year it is. That's confusing. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take pictures of everything in this room just so I have a documentation of it, especially all of these Project Zorgo offices. Now that we know where all the Project Zorgo offices are located, I'm gonna put this in our collection of Project Zorgo knowledge. Let's take some pictures here. What else is in this room? Oh, wait a second. You guys know that Project Zorgo's headquarters is inside of a black pyramid, right? Look at this, this is a white pyramid and it's got numbers on it. Maybe this code right here has something to do with the code to the safe. Let's take a picture of that. What's this? Hey, a sigh. I love sighs. <laughs> Spy Ninjas, do you know which Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uses a sigh? If so, leave a comment down below. He's my favorite turtle. What else is on here? 
Do you see what's written on this box? It says Operation Appleseed. Operation Appleseed, that's the same box that was in the bunker room beneath the safe house after crawling down the hatch. It was in Perlita's room. So does this place have something to do with Perlita? And inside that Appleseed box, we learned a lot about me as a kid. There was old videotapes. There was things from when I was in school, which I think we figured out now was GKC school. What is in here? More VHS cassettes. These are the same things we watched, and there was a video of me as a kid swinging around nunchucks. Dude, look, comic books. Planet of the Ape comic books. Star Wars comic books. This is very suspicious. The guy on the speaker did say he's been studying me, been trying to learn more about me. He's been reading the same comic books that I read as a kid. There's probably more footage of me on these cassette tapes or these VHS tapes. Look at this, subject 22. This is the same name that was on the folder in the bunker and it was filled with information about me. Look at this, old drawings of ninjas and CWCs. Wait a second, there's a pyramid crossed out. I don't remember writing this. Wait a second, this is Spy Ninja fan mail from you guys. I think this was mailed to V and I's address when we lived in California before Project Zorgo came in and burnt the place down. Look, more fan mail. You guys send in some drawings. That's V and I chopping some fruit. Project Zorgo stole my fan mail from you guys. Oh man. Okay, we need to figure out a way to stop Project Zorgo and I could definitely use your guys' help. Okay, as most of you already know, we have developed a Spy Ninja Network app for your phone and for your tablet. It's free to download and you guys can help us defeat Project Zorgo. So if you have a phone or if you have a tablet, look for the Spy Ninja Network. It's got an icon like this. I'm gonna link to it at the end of this video. V and I are setting up a new feature where you guys can have like video messages from V and I to you guys. And as you help us with our mission, help us in defeat Feeding Project Zorgo, we're gonna send you guys video messages. So after this video, make sure to look for this little icon here and that'll download the Spy Ninja Network to your phone or to your tablet for free. Thank you to all you Spy Ninjas who do use the Spy Ninja Network currently. I'm gonna show the top seven scores right here from the past week. You guys did the most hacking, or I should say reverse hacking and defeating of Project Zorgo. Great work to all you guys. Now I need to find my way out of here. So don't go download that yet. Wait until the end of this video because I need your help to get out of this room, okay? Oh my gosh, there's a hacker in here. Oh my gosh. Who ruined my locker? Oh shoot. Oh man, they ruined my name tag. <gasps> that was his name tag. What's he doing in here? He's going on the computers. Is he the one that captured Chad and V? He looks confused. Oh, that's it. No more staples. How does he not know I'm behind the door? This is a horrible hiding spot. Wait, did you guys hear that? Hello? Yep. Yeah. Hello? V? Chad, is that you? Yeah, it's me, v, v. What are you doing? Where are you? You're on the other side of this wall. Yeah, yeah, it's me. I'm in this weird room with all these old stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a wardrobe and there's clothing and masks and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, I see a wardrobe and then there's a chair. I'm locked in this strange room that has all these weird items. I think it's the guy who has a crush on you. He's got me locked in here. I need your help to get me out of here. There's a sliding door right here that you need to unlock. There's a red chair out there, okay? Reach your hand into the right side of the red chair when you're sitting in it, there's a lever. Pull the lever up and that'll unlock this sliding door inside the wardrobe. Oh, but it looks so gross. I know, a lot of gross hackers have sat in it, but I need you to sit in it and pull the lever. That's the only way to get me out of here that I know of. Oh, I think I see the lever. I pulled it. Let me see if it's open here. Hang on one second. Yes, it unlocked me! Be unlocked! Woo! Hello, Chad. What? How the heck do you sound like V? That's really weird. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> You're not V? What the heck? How do you sound like her? Say, Chad is the best. Chad is the second best because I'm the best spy ninja. How the heck are you sounding like V? This is so weird. Because I am V. Don't you recognize your own wife, Chad? Uh, my wife is not super tall like you, okay? She's about this tall. But if I'm not V, then who am I? That's a really good question. Why don't we find out? Ah! What? Oh my, what's with your face? <laughs> what, you don't recognize you? Whoa, dude, how do you sound just like me? That's because I am just like you, Chad. No, you are nothing like me. I'm Chad, I'm the only Chad, and it's me, I'm unique. Well, if you're unique, then how come I sound just like you? I don't know, but you're not me, so don't even try to be me, okay? But I am you. No, you are not me. I'm me, you're you. I'm you, but you are you. No, 
I'm me, you're you, you're not me, okay? If you're me, then I'm you, and then you're me, and I'm you, bro! If I'm me, if you're me, I mean, and then I'm you, that doesn't make any sense, because I'm me and you're you, okay? Well, if I'm you and you are me, then who am I? I don't know who you are. All I know is that I'm me and you're not me, okay? So forget about it. You're not me. I'm PZ11. Whoa! The doppelganger. Doppelganger means to look just like somebody else, I think. Wait, is that why you have a wig of me and clothing and all those masks and stuff? Wait, you forget so soon, Chad. You were the one who were pretending to be me and you fooled Melvin and all, all the spy ninjas that day? What do you think of my lair? Because you're never going to leave here. Oh, we will see about that. You may try to imitate me, but you can't imitate my martial arts skills. I'll make you a deal, Chad. I'll let you go. Uh-huh. If you give me your YouTube login credentials. Ha! I'm not giving that to you because you could just delete my channel and wipe me off of YouTube forever as if I never existed. The answer is no. Even if I have your wife? <laughs> oh my gosh. What if he's telling the truth? What if he actually does have V and then I, I make the wrong choice? Hey, hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, let me out of here. Oh, dang it. He... And I want your answer. This is a horrible hiding spot. He's going to find me any second. Look, my hacker mask. I just put this on quickly and he'll never know. I'll just be like, hey, fellow hacker, how you doing? Hello, fellow hacker. Oh, oh, you're not supposed to be up here. You're right. I'm not supposed to be here. I better get out of here. I'll just leave you be. Keep uh, trapping Chad and V on those cameras. That's hey. pretty cool. Hey, are you the new guy? Well, I'm actually been expecting some new hire to help me watch these security cameras. There's four of them, but I only have two eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I think you're good. You're oh, good on your own. You can see all four. Maybe you're the perfect man for the job. No. I gotta take my lunch break. I'm hungry. I'm gonna leave. It, it's up to you, okay? Dude, I, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go. I gotta go, okay? No. It's uh, my lunch time. Oh. Yeah, we have a job to do. Hey, PZ Doppelganger, I got what you want. I'm ready. Well, what's it gonna be, Chad? Your YouTube login credentials or stay here forever? Well, a moment ago you said, let's handle this like gentlemen. So I challenge you to a gentleman's duel. Oh, a gentleman's duel, you say? If I win, you let me free and you let V free. If you win, I'll give you my YouTube login credentials. Why would I do that when I have you here? You either give me those login credentials or you could stay here forever, Chad. Hold up, what's the matter? Are you scared of a little impersonation contest? <laughs> I thought you were an impersonationist. Did you say impersonation contest? Ah, forget it. You're probably too scared to challenge me. I accept. Ha! <laughs> I am the greatest at impersonations. That is why I am the doppelganger. Because I just don't impersonate. I become the other person. I'm like a chameleon. What chameleon? Okay, we'll see who's the better chameleon here. Contest begins now. Oh my gosh, man. I. You really need two people to look over four screens? I can see all four right now. It's super simple. What's wrong with you, man? Maybe it's your hood. Your hood's on too tight, man. Oh, well, maybe your mask is too loose. No, no, no. It, it's on good. It's on, it's on good, man. Hey. Ah. Oh. oh, you're Daniel from the Spy Ninjas. Hey. Oh. 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 Gosh. The first challenge is who can impersonate Daniel the best? Oh, Daniel. So easy. But Chad, uh -huh. if you try anything funny yeah. during this contest, okay. it'll be funny when I use the transducer on you. Hey, 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 <laughs> dude, don't point that at me, okay? I know what that does. I don't need to be pooping my pants. Just put that down behind you, would you? Well, no funny business. Otherwise, you get the poo-poo. All right, so first off is Daniel. Here, hold the camera for my Daniel impersonation. Are you ready? I'm ready. What it do, spy ninjas? Ah! My leg, my leg. There's my Daniel, ha <laughs> ha. Let's see you do better than that. So weak. What it do, spy ninjas? As you can see here, I'm with my best friend, Douglas. Hi, Douglas. Oh, hello, Daniel. You're so cool. 
Yeah, I know, I'm pretty cool. Hmm, that was pretty good. Although Douglas would never say that. His puppet says mean things to him. Yep. Well, that's because you're thinking of Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm Douglas. Hey, shut up, shut up. Okay, 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 all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna give this Daniel one to you. One point for Doppelganger, zero points for me so far. Hey, I know you're making some weird, crazy experiments in this Cybertech laboratory thing, all right? I'm not gonna let you make any more new inventions, okay? What's up with your diver? You, what, you got a leaky gut? Do you know 314? <laughs> oh yeah, my diaper. So what? It comes with age. Sometimes, everybody's gonna be wearing diapers eventually. You should try it out. <sighs> Here. Here, why don't you try some diapers? Ow! Oh, yeah! Oh, <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That's right! Oh, goodness. Okay, awesome. Okay. See you later, man! Bye bye! Just wait, because next person we are impersonating is. V Quaint! Take the camera. Here's my V impression. Hey, Spy Ninjas! It's me, V Quaint! I'm the tiny spy ninja. I can crawl through all the smallest of places. Not like that giant Chad who's this tall. He can't fit through anything. But I am tiny and small and can fit through anything. And I'm spicy. So back up because hua, hua, I can do some martial arts too. And I'll lock pick some locks as well. Boom. That's V Coin. That's my impersonation of her. I don't have the voice quite right because my voice, you know, it's very masculine and dude like. That was terrible, Chad. Laughable. Just because you're married to somebody doesn't mean you have to sound exactly like them or be exactly like them, right? Okay, that's why I. You cut me a break. Cut me some slack here, but let's hear your V Coin. Well, Chad, if you really care about being married to me, you would be just exactly like me. Because you would think like me, you would actually know what I'm thinking because you actually listen to me for once. Okay, fine. Two points for you. You win the V-Quaint. That's two points for you, zero points for me. But you'll never do a better Regina impersonation than me. Take the camera. Now, Regina, she doesn't quite have her own intro yet. I think she's working on developing it. Uh, she doesn't do the What It Do Spy Ninjas or anything like that, but uh, here, here's some of the things she does. So I'll just be like, Hey Spy Ninjas, it's me, Regina, and today we're gonna be going, oh, 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 I'm so clumsy, I just trip over everything, but I'm a master of disguise. Look, I'm Chad Wild Clay, because it's all because I'm a master of disguise, and now I'm gonna go fit over here, and I'm gonna hide myself in, in here. Oh, 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 my tushy too big. That's what she always says. I'm not saying that, she says that. Okay, that's Regina. Pretty impressive, Chad. Aha, see, I told you. But I... nowhere near close to expert level. Hello, Spy Ninjas. How are you today? I am Regina, and I like chicken nuggets. If you like chicken nuggets, comment down below, because that's what Regina does. And she also says things like, here is my friend, Mr. Transducer. <laughs> wow, you're right. She does damn everything, Mr. Something Obvious. Here's my friend, Mr. Tinfoil. Okay, I'll give it to you. That was a good Regina. It actually sounded a lot like her voice too. I mean, it was a little bit off, but you know, I could tell you have been practicing Regina the least. So, okay, you get a point, three, zero. But this last one, why don't we do all or nothing on this last one, because she'll never get this. How about we do Dax? All or nothing? Fine. Now, Dax, he wears a scarf, just like this shirt right here, okay? All right, he also has very long hair and bangs covering his face like this. And then he sounds like he's been surfing in the sun just a little too long. <laughs> Whoa, dude, it's me, Dax. I'm here to deliver some packages, man. I gotta get back to work now. See you later. What'd you think of them apples? Hwa! I don't know much about this Dax character. Mm, feeling a little worried, are we? No. Like, uh, hello? Uh, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a good start, but Dax, he wears something over his face, like, like a handkerchief, like this. Throw that on, would you? You gotta get into character. You're the impersonationist. You know this already. Yeah, like that. Dax always wears hair over his eyes. Like, he can't even see, you know? He can't see. He got so much hair. Here, put on this wig, and you gotta have it over your eyes. Oh, I'm 
will be able to see, bro, if I cover my eyes. Well, that's what Dax is like. You have to embrace the character. You have to be the character. Not just impersonate him, but be him. I learned that from you. So, okay, you got, you got it over your eyes? Totally. How many fingers am I holding up? Seven and a half, bro. Let's hear your Dax impersonation. Uh, okay, bro. About all these deliveries, like during these really crazy and economic hardships, sometimes I find myself Oh, that's, that's really good. That sounds great. Keep going, keep going. I wish I could go surfing. You're doing a really good dash. Keep it up. But I say, what's wrong with asbestos? Because I try to deliver these packages. As hey, hey, oh. hey. Wait, what? Hey, get back here, chief. Hey, take this transducer. Ah. Oh. oh, yeah. You feel like you got to go to the bathroom now, buddy? Oh, it hurts so bad. See you later. Back into the wardrobe for you. Yeah, you're locked in there now, buddy. I've got the transducer, which is gonna make him go poop, and there's no bathroom in there. And I'm gonna lock him in, make sure he can't get out. Oh my gosh, I would feel kind of bad if that were a person who wasn't so mean and was a big bully hacker. And I've got V's bag. Let's go find V. Okay, I've got the coordinates to where V is. I've got her bag here and the transducer, and she went into this other tunnel out here. Okay, which is right here, this other tunnel she went in. Okay, here we go. I'm coming for you, V, don't worry. Okay, I'm getting really close to the coordinates that Daniel sent me. V is supposed to be right around here. Okay, this doesn't make any sense. I don't see anything around here. It's just like a dead end. And the ground's kind of loose right here. Whoa! 